Attach. Okay, here we're gonna do some welding to display the uh, machine how it works. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, 0 0.6 seconds on the weld time, the delay time 0 0.7, the hold time 2 seconds. And uh, we have these uh, little pigs here. We're gonna try to weld them. And uh, so these are all. Oops. Need to be welded. And uh, the first time I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna put it in manual. Uh, so it aligns itself. And then switch it to automatic so we can get a weld. So I go down on it. And uh, as you can see here, of course the jig needs to be fastened with clamps, but I'm going to do that now because I'm still setting up, trying the machine. This is an over weld, so we're getting too much welding at 0 0.6 seconds. I'm going to go to 0 0.4 seconds, which means 0.4 second weld. And I'll put another one in there. This is a good weld, and it's welded all the way around, which means that uh, the alignment of the horn is good. If you get welding on one side more than the other, that means you did something wrong with the alignment while you're aligning the horn. So I'm going to go down even to 0 0.3 seconds, and uh, hit it again. And I think I'm saying it's wrong because this, is, this seems like 3 seconds, not 0, 3 seconds. So I'm going to go down to, this is 0 0.9 seconds now. So I think we were over welding it here. Because we're getting melting, too much melting. Try another one. Okay, at 0 0.9 seconds, we're getting a, a weld. It looks like a nice weld, no flash. So I was saying it wrong. It was uh, much more than what I was saying. So let's set it again at 1.5. So 1.5 means 1.5 seconds. getting a pretty good weld and it looks nice, there's no scarring. So uh, this one is at, uh, I'm going to write it down so I don't forget, 1.5 second. This is the weld time and the uh, delay time is equal to 0 0.7 and the hold time is equal to 2 seconds. And the pressure over here, it's at uh, 38 uh, PSI. So, uh, I'd like to go a little bit higher, maybe go to 1.8 seconds and see what I get. Maybe I get a better joining. Also, real nice, and I'm gonna write down the number. And here we have it at 1.8 seconds. Uh, I'm gonna do another one at two seconds. And again, this should be clamped, uh, but I haven't clamped it because I'm still testing the machine. I can clamp it when we start with production. This looks real nice. 
and this one has two. Welding time is equal to two seconds. Uh, power level is equal to two. Uh, pressure is equal to 38. Um, that's, these are the important numbers here. I'm going to go up a little bit more to see what happens. Go to two and a half seconds. At two and a half seconds, I'm starting to get flash, which means I'm starting to get an overweld, and it doesn't look bad, so I'm going to keep it. This looks nice. So this one is at 2.5 seconds. Weld time is equal to 2.5 seconds. And uh, pressure, same, 38. And power level, which is set here on the side, is set at 2. Uh, we always don't want to go up too high on the power level because it really runs the machine a little bit harder. Keep it low. Looks nice, there's no scarring. This one also at weld time is equal to 2.5 seconds. Pressure is equal to 38. Power level is equal to three, uh, two actually. And uh, that's it. Now it's important to keep the uh, current uh, below 10 amps here. So if you're uh, if you're going above 8 or 10 amps, uh, that means there's something wrong with uh, with the settings, and you really don't need more than 8 amps at 240 volts uh, to weld with this machine. Perfect weld here. All these welds are really nice. If you look uh, close here, you see a tiny bit of flash, uh, which is good. We need that for welding. And they are really, really strong. Um, you can see some melted plastic here, not too much, and, uh, and that's it. Okay.